Welcome back, Hans von Spakovsky, expert on election law, a former commissioner of the Federal Election Commission, former prosecutor in the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice, enforcing, of all things, voting rights laws. Now, that's an important concept, enforcing voting rights laws. Right. So my question to you is this. There's litigation going on, and in some states, they're going to re-canvass. And also, uh, the, the president's campaign, depending on the state, like in Wisconsin and so forth, because they were so razor thin, they have the right for a potential recount. What does recanvass mean? Recanvass is when they uh, quickly go through um, uh, all the vote totals uh, and ballots that were sent in by election officials from polling places across the state and make sure that all the numbers were correctly t- totaled up. And they want to check their computers. They want to check their right. software. They had some issues like this in Michigan. There's some questions being raised in Wisconsin and so forth. So it really gives an opportunity to the state election boards, if they're earnest, to say, all right, did we get this right? All right, Correct. that's still going on today, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it is. Number two, there are state laws that give a, uh, a candidate, depending how close the election is, some states right. under 1% and so forth, the opportunity to an automatic or to request a a recount, correct? In many states, you can get a recount. uh, Depending on the state, it's either uh, a 1% margin of difference, or in some places, it's half a percent margin of difference. And that takes a little bit of time. That can't be done in 24 hours, right? A recount could take a couple of weeks or a week or so, correct? No, that's exactly right. I mean, think how how long they're taking right now just to count the ballots. And when you do a recount, you have to recount every single ballot in the state. Now, why is this important? Why is this important as a fundamental matter, as a constitutional matter, and actually for Congress when they meet and determine whether or not the Electoral College uh, votes are the Electoral College votes that they want to certify? Well, because look, election officials, even when they're doing their best, they make mistakes. I mean, all you got to do is look at the, the, re- the glitch that was just announced in Michigan uh, where they initially an, uh, announced that a Democrat had won a, uh, uh, a race there and then realized the software glitch had misreported things and, in fact, the Republican incumbent had won. Re- re-canvases are often do turn up uh, mistakes that were made in totaling up the votes. And when you do a recount, uh, the vote totals often also change um, because, look, remember, Mark, most of these places are using uh, OptiScan paper ballots. And sometimes those paper ballots uh, have not been marked I- exactly the way you're supposed to for them to be read by a computer scanner. And when you go through and count them, sometimes you have to look at them by hand to figure out how the, vote, uh, how the voter actually cast their ballot. So recounts also can change results. So let's look at the state of play as we speak. We have a significant lawsuit that's been brought in Pennsylvania that the Supreme Court has indicated is very likely to consider that can have an enormous impact on that state. We have canvassing or re-canvassing taking place in some of these states that are very, very close. We have the right for a candidate, say the president's campaign, the president, to call for recount in several of these states that are very, very close. You have Al Gore, who litigated for 37 days in one state, really three counties, but one state, went to the Supreme Court twice. And yet it seems like Joe Biden, the Democrat Party and everybody else is in a very big hurry to get an answer today. Isn't it better to go through the process, the constitutional and statutory process to make sure everything is right in every state? Well, yeah, particularly because the 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 results aren't efficient until election officials uh, and, local, and, and state officials certify the results. And they won't do that until the canvassing, recanvassing has been done. And if a recount has been ordered, they won't do it until the recount has been completed. And if there is litigation, serious litigation contesting the outcome, they also are foolish, and I don't think they will, certify uh, the results if, in fact, that litigation could, could change the outcome. And the reason why it's foolish is because the final check is the United States Congress. And if some state jumps right. the gun and significant litigation or recounts aren't completed or so forth, the Congress can reject the electors from that particular state.